Hey there. It was a very wintry day here in Virginia. Rather odd for this area lately. It's We've had temperatures in the 60s for the last, I don't know, weeks. This is the coldest day we've had all year. And we had about six inches of snow last night. So it was such a treat to be able to not have to worry about shoveling and clearing walkways and clearing off cars and going out and fighting the traffic and risking my life on the roads to go to work because I didn't have to. Yay. So I, I spent the day working at home, obviously. We uh, canceled Mel's caregiver for the day so she didn't have to risk her life coming down the hill out here in the country that still hasn't been plowed. But that's okay. We just, uh, we were one of the few areas that didn't lose power, so incredibly thankful for that. So it's nice and warm. But our house, I used to, I joked when we first bought this house back in 1999, I told everybody that we bought a, a Y2K compliant house because uh, in the lower part of the house there's a wood stove and right above the wood stove in the ceiling there's a like a vent that opens at the end of the hallway upstairs so when the wood stove downstairs is being stoked and the fire is really roaring it can heat the whole house and then upstairs we have two um, propane fireplaces that are thermostatically controlled so even if we lose power we still have heat and light um, we won't freeze to death which is nice but we don't very often lose power the big issue now losing power of course is because my husband's mobility depends on it he has a, a hospital bed that when he transfers from his wheelchair to his bed and back, <clears throat> excuse me, from the wheelchair to the bed and from the bed to the wheelchair, we have to be able to raise and lower the bed so that he can slide, you know, from the chair using a transfer board. Anyways, long story short, if we lose power and we can't operate his bed, then he's sort of stuck, either stuck in his bed or stuck in his chair or whatever he's in when the power goes out. So I did go ahead and invest in a, in a, um, uh, battery oriented generator that's solar powered. Uh, we used it once and it worked out pretty well. Apparently my uh, the light for my camera didn't didn't get charged up so whatever. Sorry about that. But anyways it was a good day. Stayed home. The dogs enjoyed the snow and the cats or one cat anyways was out panning around in it. I see the footprints of all the woodland creatures out on our property out here in the country. It's beautiful. Really really pretty. It was a heavy snow and it just grabbed on to every single twig and every tree and every branch of every bush. So, so pretty. Um, the, the worst part about it was on the, the end of our house where the pet door is for the dogs to go out into their three quarters of an acre to run and do whatever they need to do, we leave the pet door there for them to come and go. And I have a, one of those sunsetter awnings that comes out from the house and extends out over the deck so that the, the doorway at least is protected from the weather so that as they come in and out they're not like having to battle the rain and the snow and whatever. Anyways, foolish me, I forgot to um, retract the awning before I w went to bed in the wee hours this morning. When I went to bed it was still raining so it didn't really cross my mind even though I knew snow was coming. Anyways, that was a really bad idea because when I came upstairs today, this morning, that poor awning, here's the deck, and the awning's normally like this. The awning was like this, just bowed full of super wet snow. Well, it's an electric awning, so it'll retract if it's really windy, you know, so it doesn't blow off the house. But unfortunately, the snow was slowly sinking on it, and it, I couldn't retract it. I couldn't send it out. I couldn't bring it back to sort of displace the snow. So I'm out there on the deck in a t-shirt, and you know, capri slacks and slippers, trying to push from the underside of the awning to push the snow off into the yard, and the awning is coming down and smacking on top of the head, and the dogs are running around barking. It was, I should have videotaped that if I'd have had a cameraman. It, that would have been, probably would have been much more entertaining than me telling you about it now. But I did manage to get, get the really super heavy snow knocked off and reeled in the awning little by little, and phew. That was, a, that, was, that was a way to start the day. But it sure was pretty. And I'll try to uh, piece together some images into this video of our winter wonder. So this was Virginia today. 
We got a little bit of snow. It's pretty on the trees though, isn't it? The way it just kind of clings to each one of the branches. Isn't that... Yeah, that dogwood tree's not very happy. Guess I should have gotten out and knocked them over today. Knocked them down. But it's really pretty. Temps are supposed to come up tomorrow. So I'm hoping that most of this will melt since I didn't get out shoveling today. Obviously the, the critters of the world didn't seem to mind the snow. And the dogs have been out running around in it all day. But that was my day today was spent inside enjoying a warm house. Thank you, God. And not having to not having to shovel so I could go to work or shovel so most caregivers could get here. We canceled them for the day. And we just hunkered down today in this winter wonderland. This is what it looked like in the back. It's so cool the way the snow just clings to each branch. Again, the dogs have beaten up the snow here. So they've been running back and forth. Hey, Lucy. Hey, Pupper. How's my girl? Here's my Lucy Lucy. You ready to go back inside? I hope you all had a good day and a productive day. I had a very productive day in my business. It was, um, yeah, it was really good. I'm starting to feel super pumped about this business and very happy that I, I was prompted to take this journey and to start on this path. If you want to know more about it, there's going to be links down below in my video. You can message me or go watch one of my videos about it or join our group or go to my Facebook page and learn about it or just ask me and I will happily share with you what I'm doing and, and how I'm learning. And I'd love for it if you're interested to come and join me on the journey and I'm more than willing to sort of be a, a bit of a coach to you alongside to help you through the process, help you get over the initial learning curve and um, just share what I'm learning so that you can have your own business. So that the next time it's snowy or miserable in your area, you don't have to fight the elements. What about? Anyways, I hope you all are doing well. Take care and God bless.